<clears throat> shit. Should have cleared my throat before I started this thing. Ooh. Still here, baby. <laughs> Still here. Um, got some coin yesterday. Got some food. It's good. God loves me, baby. It's all well. Trust the plan, man. Whew. Um, this video is going to be about self-love. First, I want to talk about my religion. My religion is, is as simple as possible, and there's a reason for that. And God explained it to me really simply. If you live in love and you live in light, it encompasses everything. Buddhism, Taoism, shamanism, karate, or you know, Islamism. If you're if you're not a complete scumbag in that, I just I'm not really big on the whole stoning people to death because they date people. Anyway, whatever religion you believe in, it covers it. You know, if, if you're living in the light and it doesn't matter what you ascribe to, what you pray to. Who you pray to, whether it's a tree or a statue, it encompasses everybody because everybody's involved. Everybody should be encompassed in in love. You know what I mean? We're all in this together. You know, there's those that low vibration people, man. They're karmics. They don't. They're there. They're there to teach us lessons. And maybe that it's kind of like reincarnation. You're gonna come around a bunch of times, and every time you're gonna learn something. Some people, man, they're gonna have. A thousand lifetimes, but you know what I mean, before they're righteous, but that's not your problem or mine. That's theirs. You know, we just be blessed that you're you. And that's important. I'll talk about the ego. The ego will shut you down. The ego will make you live in fear. And that's something you got to squash. I, I say it's it's all part of the inside of you, right? Dark and light. We all got it. I mean, I like, for me, example, I would be hard pressed not to want to throttle a motherfucker if I knew that they were evil. In the same room with me, and trust me, there's some fuckers that if I was in the same room, I'd be going, God, please, why am I in the room with this motherfucker? Because I'm not preaching. You, you know, some people are past, you know, past, you know, that that point where you just know they're just karmics and they're just evil and they get taken out. God will take care of that. You know what I mean? And that's not. It's almost like, like I said, if you live in the light and you and you raise your vibration and you don't let that shit drag you down, you're gonna be powerful and it's and it's gonna be endless. And that's important. And I know there's people out there going through it still. Fine. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning. But I've gotten, I mean, I've, man, I'm so much better than I was. So much better. And this is, this is for me and this is for you. I'm still learning, like I said. But I want you to learn too. I want you to grow. I want you to be positive and love yourself. And the self-love is, is it's true, man. It's just, because it, you, your whole life you get broken down by people who are karmics, people who are less than, who are also going through it themselves. But they ain't ready to grow. They they're not, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain sometimes, but but I know that you're you're in it and you're if you're listening to this and you're you know if you're suffering, then you're probably not a low karmic scumbag. Low karmic scumbags, they don't suffer. They do the suffering. They cause suffering. They don't they don't stay up having sleepless nights about things around them. They're out there giving other people sleepless nights, right? So don't you don't you worry if you're feeling that way if you're feeling insecure if you're feeling like you're not good enough if you're feeling all these this bullshit it's 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 a good thing because that means you're growing that means you're not stuck in this loop of fucking low vibration bullshit you're growing I mean maybe you have to grow in the dark because everybody around you is just low karmic and you you can't let them see that you've you know that you got the power you know that you're that you're rising above them because people will drag your ass right back down like that last poem I wrote out I threw out there three or four or five videos ago. It's all about being free in yourself, flying free from the hands that grip you and hold you down. And you leave them behind and you fly and you know no bounds, baby. You know what I mean? That's how it works. And if you think you're not good enough, you are. And it's self-doubt, self-fear. Like I said, if you got something to say to somebody, if you it'll you know that it'll it'll heal your heart to say it, say it, man. Don't don't be shy. It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt as bad as you think, and it's always, it's like nine swords, man, in, in tarot. It's like, it's 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 basically worries that don't exist. It's all in your head, and, and the people that you think are gonna be yelling at you and not like you, you're gonna be surprised. And they're like, you know, I wasn't exactly perfect. I mean, like I said, I've had past conflicts with people. They might think I don't want to have nothing to do with them, but that, that's not the truth. It's just that I might not have been in the right place either. I was just, you know, if I lash out and they're like, fuck, I ain't talking to them. I call him, he's just going to tell me to go fuck myself. And that's not true. 
it's just it was a phase I was in, you know, and that happens and you move on, you grow, you become, you know, you go to the light, you, you go to the, you know, you find your true path. And that's another thing, man, I tell you, whoo, it's not that hard. Life should not be this hard for you. Love should not be that hard. And if it is hard, if it's a struggle, if it's just constant fighting and battles, then you know that you're, in the, you're on the wrong path. You need to take some time out, meditate, figure some shit out. If you got addictions you're battling, snub that shit. You know, come on now. It's got You got to be real with yourself. It's all part of the dark night. It's all part of, you know, getting through the battles, man. And even in the inner battles. Because you got demons, you got to fight. And that's, I see people just... Like this dude that parked next to me was smoking fucking some some glass dick. And I don't know if it was meth or fucking crack. But I was going over there. I was pissed. I, he pissed me off first. I was like, my energy was like, oh my God, what are you doing to yourself, right? But then I thought about it. And then, then the love and light came over me. I was like, man, that motherfucker's got to be going through it. Anybody that would do that to themselves, right? They got to be going through it. And you got to think of that. I, he's an older dude. And I was like, man, that was somebody's child once. That was a little child. You know, when that kid was a child, do you think he was going to be sitting in a, you know, van smoking crack or whatever? No. They were thinking love and light and happiness and playing with their friends and playing some ball and, you know what I mean? If you're a girl, like, you know, playing dolls, I don't know, but you were innocent and you were just, the world was amazing and a beautiful place and, and the world will crush you and bring you down. People around you will crush you and bring you down. And it's, it's scary being alone. It's scary being... <laughs> Did I just get a phone call in the middle of my video? Man, I don't know. Decline. Decline. Dude. What the fuck? Ain't that some shit? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Distractions. I must be popular. I don't know. It's probably some scam shit anyway. But anyway, sorry for that interruption. Let's get back to you and fighting your de demons you got, like I said, you gotta, you gotta be real with yourself. That's that's the hardest thing anybody has to do, is just don't fall for your own bullshit. If you know you're not living right, if you know you're not in the light, damn, we'll find a way, man. Right? It's all you. You have, you have power. You have freedom. I mean, we, a lot of people don't realize they're free, but they, they get stuck in these. Like if you're, like, a, you know. One of my fellow travelers talked about if you're in the hood and you're in that mindset and it's all about gangsters and bullshit and, 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 you know, you're going to, and that's all you know, and that's all you care about. It's, it's a cycle. It's, you ain't never going to get out of it. Maybe just jump in a car and just take a drive and maybe go find somewhere else to live and work. Man, I was washing dishes three years ago. I mean, and I got some education. I'm a talented human being, but I did what I had to do. And I, and I, I got a job washing dishes, and it was awesome. I was in the back of the house listening to my music, rocking that shit. It was cool, but it was, you know, and they, my manager even wanted to pay me 50 bucks an hour because he loved me, right? So just do what you got to do, man. Don't be afraid. There's people out there that will love you. That will. There's generous human beings. They see suffering. They're going to try to help you out. You know, there's churches. There's places you can go. There's food banks. Uh, you know, it's just you got you to gotta live in love, man. You got to love yourself. And it's going to be okay. I believe in you. That's the whole point. I'm here to tell you that I believe in you. I believe in your power. I believe you can rise above it. I believe you can pull yourself up and get the hell out of that hole you're in. If you're in a hole. If you're not in a hole, cool. <laughs> but this is also about self-love. Because like I said, when you love yourself, you're not going to pull yourself. You're not going to, you know what I mean? I used to, I used to, I used to do things that, to hurt myself purposely. You know, I ain't saying I'm, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a saint. I, I mean, I was young. I tried to destroy myself because nobody else gave a shit. And I didn't, I mean, I remember one time I was sitting over a bridge looking down on the freeway and I was crying. I was thinking, I'm going. I didn't want to be here no more. I was, I was so much pain. And then I didn't. I was like, fuck that. Bro. Why, why give them the satisfaction, right? And I rose above it, man. And it's been, it's hard. And trust me, dark night. I, like I said, my whole life has been a dark night and I just didn't know it. I just, I just kept battling. I was like, damn, this is a stubborn motherfucker, right? <laughs> and I'm Taurus, so you know, go figure, right? Plus, I'm Aries in the Vedic, and that makes me just fire up. <sighs> but I just want to tell you, you're good enough. Regardless. If you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. God believes in you. 
The universe is digging the shit out of you. And they're like, get your ass up. Dust your ass off and go do it. Find your destiny. Find your passion. Find your love. Find your peace. Because it's out there. I'm living in my power because I've, I've, I've shed the bullshit. I've shed all the karmics around me that I don't want and I don't care about. Fuck them. So, thank you, God. Living in the light, baby. I'm going to go down a little bit so I get some of that sun. But yeah, live in the light, baby. And you'll never be fooled. Because you always... It, the biggest fucking enemy anybody ever going to have is himself. So when you don't fool yourself and you live in the light, man, and nobody else is going to fool you. you if I'm not going to fool myself, I'm damn sure not going to let you fool me, right? That's how it works. So I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. And say, get your ass up. Dust your ass off and go. Do good. Be good. Get that high ground and keep it. Because you're worthy. Okay? Have a wonderful day. I love leaving this sucker in the light. Ooh. Love you.